Window and door nets have been designed for all types of motorsports with the sole purpose of keeping a driver's arms, legs, and body within the confines of the roll cage during an accident. The SFI Foundation, which Stroud Safety complies with, has the following minimum standards for window and door nets. The width of the net from the vertical tube rearward of the driver's head to the front of the net is 10 inches. The vertical length must reach to the bottom opening of the window or door. The fixed mounting of the net must be at the bottom or back of the opening. Release points must be at the top or front of the opening. Many racing organizations may also have their own minimum standards that must be complied with. The openings in the webbing are a maximum of 2 inches. SFI certification and other labels are attached to the outward side of the net for easy inspection. Stroud nets can be ordered in a wide range of colors and combinations. Edge strips at the top, bottom, or sides, depending on the attachment points, are always black. Refer to our custom window net measurement and colors form available on our website on the nets page. Stroud has standard window net sizes available. However, most of the time, a custom net is recommended. It is easier to make the net fit the vehicle than the other way around. It looks better and will ensure you of optimum protection. There are three methods to use when ordering a custom window or door net. If available, send us the existing net that you are replacing. We will reuse your existing buckles if they are in good condition. Using butcher paper or lightweight poster board, trace the dimensions and shape of the net to match the inside opening you are covering. Or measure the opening with an angle finder or protractor and a tape measure. To trace the opening for your window net, use butcher paper or lightweight poster board to trace the shape of the net for your application. We're using lightweight poster board in this example. Tape the poster board to the inside of the roll cage opening on the driver's side of the vehicle. From the outside, trace along the top, back, and bottom inside edge of the opening. Mark where the net will end on the top and bottom lines. Also, if you are using attachment tabs, indicate the position of the tabs. These can be at the top or front of the opening. Remove the poster board from the vehicle. Connect your endpoints with a straight line. Remember that SFI NHR minimum width of the net is 10 inches parallel to the ground not along the angle of the top or bottom of the opening. Be sure to check with your particular sanctioning organization for other window net requirements. Indicate the front of the vehicle with an arrow. Now indicate on your drawing how far the attachment tabs extend beyond the edge of the roll bar to the inside of the opening. Next, show on the drawing where the fixed mounting of your net will be. This will either be at the bottom or at the back of the opening. It is important to note what method you will use for the fixed mounting edge. We also need to know the diameter of the roll bar tubing. If you are using support rods, indicate whether you are using them at the top and bottom or at the front and back of your net. Add any other comments or questions to your drawing, fold it up, stick it in an envelope along with your order information, and mail it to us. To measure properly for a custom net, you need the length of the front and back sides, the top side, and the angles of the top front and top back corners. As shown in the video, providing just the lengths of three sides or four sides without the angles is useless in determining the actual shape of your net. If you don't have a protractor or angle finder available, there is an angle finder protractor you can print out that is available on the Stroud Safety website on the nets page. To determine your angles, first align the base of the protractor with the bottom edge of the top tube. 
Align the zero point of the protractor at the intersection of the bottom edge of the top tube and the inside edge of the rear vertical tube. Record the number of degrees indicated on the scale at the curved edge of the protractor that aligns with the inside edge of the vertical tube. In this example, the measurement is 75 degrees for the back corner. With the protractor still aligned with the bottom edge of the top tube, position the zero point at the intersection of the bottom edge of the top tube and the inside edge of the front vertical tube. Record the number of degrees indicated on the scale at the curved edge of the protractor that aligns with the inside edge of the front vertical tube. This measurement is 110 degrees for the front corner. Now, with the top tube, front and back tube lengths, and the degree of the angles for the front and back top corners, your net will precisely fit in your window opening. Regardless of the method you use for ordering your custom net, we need to know the following. The diameter of the roll cage tubing where the net attaches, the number of release points, usually one or two, and whether they are located at the top or front of the net. If support rods are used, note whether they are located at the top, sides, and or bottom of the net. If grommets are used for the fixed mounting side or sides, indicate how many and at which edge they are located. Indicate the angle you would prefer for the horizontal ribbons of the net. Examples would be to match the top frame of the door or horizontal to the ground depending on how the vehicle sets on the track surface. The fixed mounting of the net must be at the bottom or back of the opening. Release points must be at the top or front of the opening. Also, the net is required to be mounted on the inside of the roll cage. If mounted to the outside of the cage, the net could be scrubbed off if the vehicle was sliding on its side in a crash. Please keep in mind that even though vertical rods are legal and will prevent the net from sagging into the vehicle, you do run the risk of contact with them in the event of an accident. Most window net applications release via two buckles at the top of the net. The buckles attach to tabs welded to the inside of the top tube of the cage. As shown in this example, the buckle is welded to the forward vertical rod and attaches horizontally to the tab on the top tube of the cage. There are many correct ways to mount and release a window net. We just need to know the method you are using. Stroud's net release device consists of an SFI approved buckle and an insert weld tab. This tab can be shaped or trimmed to match the weld point on the cage for your application. Remember that Stroud Safety does recertify their window nets. This usually results in a new net. However, buckles and rods may be reused if they are in good condition. If you have parachutes on your car and you have wheelie bars, you need a wheelie bar net. Without a wheelie bar net, it is possible that the chute, pilot chute, and or canopy lines could get tangled in the wheelie bar assembly. This could happen during a run or on the way back to the pits. Refer to our custom wheelie bar net measurement diagram and instructions available on our website under nets. To measure a wheelie bar net for a dragster, get the center line length dimension from where the bar attaches to the vehicle to the end of the tubes before the wheels. On a car with a body, add a foot of length under the vehicle beyond the lower edge of the body. We also need the inside width between the tubes at the top and the bottom of the wheelie bar. Be sure to indicate which of these measurements is the top and bottom. We recommend attaching our wheelie bar nets with zip or cable ties through grommets as shown. They keep the net tight and in the event of the net catching on something, the ties will break before the car gets pulled over. Stroud wheelie bar nets can be ordered in a variety of colors, but black is recommended because of the proximity of the net to tire smoke and track dirt. There is no specification for the web openings on wheelie bar nets. Our openings are 4 to 5 inches unless requested otherwise. These nets do not require SFI certification, but periodic inspection is recommended to ensure that the webbing has not separated or has been damaged. This shows an example of a door net installation. Not only is it larger since it covers the entire opening of the door area, it also releases at the top and the front of the net. This allows for easier entry and exiting of the vehicle. 
Because of the complexity of door openings, it is best that you send us a paper pattern of the opening drawn to the inside edge of the top, both sides, and bottom tubes. As with the window nets, please indicate the tube diameter and which sides will be fixed mounting. Also indicate your method of attachment and where your latches will be positioned. If you have an existing door net, send that in and we'll match it. Also indicate your color or colors and the orientation of the horizontal ribbons of the webbing. Door nets are SFI compliant and must be certified. Requirements are the same as window nets. Stroud recertifies their door nets and will reuse your mounting hardware if it is in good shape. Please call us if you have any questions about measuring or installing your window, wheelie bar, or door nets. Your satisfaction is very important to us. Also, be sure to visit our website to see all of the products and equipment available and the latest news from Stroud Safety.